everybody and welcome to this channel we'll be beginning our bungay update as one of our generalists send the update of the what to what way they give musa men to musa another update now say prime minister the chair as he go lock them up in Afro land for the next one month make now hear the update from prime minister we are going to change it in biafra biafra will become an innovative country that will teach children critical reasoning critical thinking so that when you understand that a Nigeria is not designed for people like you, you will stand up against it. When a government is designed to enslave you, you will stand up against it. In Biafra, we will change everything that when politicians in Biafra do anything, you as a citizen will stand up against it. The Biafra law will become su supreme. And we will know that this way we are enjoying in Finland and other parts of the world is because of the system that is deep rooted in innovation and critical thinking from childhood. People develop how to become something, how to invent something. Science. Technology is what they teach them. Why your own is to teach you how a tortoise is deceiving elephant. And that is the only way you can become a successful person in the society. That is the only way you will become the, you will become the king of the animal in the animal kingdom. Is to be very smart to cheat everyone around you. Today, the society, the Nigeria is falling apart as a result of a design educational curriculum that was not intended to make you a better person, that rather to make you a failed state, failed society. And we have come to reason up and say, we will not continue with this evil entity. Go anywhere in the world, when you have Africans there and you have criminals in prison, if you see 50 African in the prison, Nigerians will be 40. Go to the United Kingdom. Why are they in prison? Criminal activities, cheating, faking, drugs, everything. Because it was the base that they were taught from the childhood how to cheat. That's why Nigeria is not bothered. When they hear you, you are a Yahoo Yahoo boy, you are making money. They're not bothered. Have they put anything in place to fight against it? No. In fact, many parents are even supporting it because they were also part of the tortoise story. They were also part. They were the one buying you the books now, the reader. They are the one buying you the books of the story of tortoise every day tortoise is going he met uh he met ghost on the way and the ghost they draw the ghost with big head tortoise will bring a drum and was beating the drum and then it was all about how to cheat ghost even ghost tortoise cheated the ghost and he was started beating the drum and palm fruit started falling The tortoise manipulated the ghost and cheated them. And today, Nigeria has fallen. Everything has fallen. The politicians are criminals. Police are criminals. Army are criminals. President is a criminal. Vice president is a criminal. A senior president is a criminal. All of them, it was a very well grounded criminal entity and you are wondering how are you going to solve this problem you can never solve it nigeria can never ever ever be revived and our job as people that have been trained in a civilized world is to destroy nigeria to save our people that's what we are doing anything that would destroy nigeria today bring me in because that is the only way to save my people. Nigeria have killed my people even before I was born. I have come to say that I will never live and pass this nonsense 
evil and demonic entity unto my children. I will pass unto them freedom. That's what I have put my life on the, on the line to make sure that after this fight, nobody else will fight anything freedom. What you are going to be fighting is to make sure that the legacy we are living today continues. If you have not supported this freedom, what exactly are you waiting for? They have called me agent of Nigeria. They have called me agent of APC. I am not bothered because that is a name they will want to give you to demoralize you. Even the so-called APC and the government will be laughing. Look at these people. Oh. This guy that we are looking for a way to eliminate, they are saying he's a Nigeria agent. They will be laughing at you because you are an idiot. And they are not worried about the fact that some of you are calling me Nigeria agent because they know it is a system that is designed for you to be a fool. That you can't think because you, you were never taught anything called critical reasoning. Bring one and bring two. Join in together. Make something out of it. From, no, from nothing. You can't do it because you were never taught about how to develop something from nothing. In Europe here, in the Western world, they teach children how to develop something, make something out of nothing. And that is the thing we are bringing back to the Biafra land. And I promise Biafrans, I will bring Finland to Biafra. Today, the government in exile and the de facto government, the structure we have built, is it not happening? We have been able to defeat Nigeria even with their billions and billions of dollars. We defeat them militarily. We defeat them in everything academically, structure, government structure-wise and everything. We have outsmarted Nigeria. And because we are laying a very strong foundation that nothing can destroy. If you think that we are joking and you are yet to support Biafra Freedom, wait to December 2nd. Everything we have done so far is in the public. We are not hiding our roadmap to Biafra. Like I said, we have gathered 49 million votes. Counting, still counting, because this is the second stage, which will end in August. And then the third stage starts in September. 49 million already and still counting. Have you ever seen in Nigeria where election was conducted and you have 49 million votes? No. In the last election, we warned these Nigerians that what you need is not election. They call from ahead. I told them, you do not want election. The whole people contesting for to become president of Nigeria are all criminal. The main three uh, 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 candidates, they are all criminals. Atiku is a criminal. Atiku embezzled money, Nigeria money that should have built hospital schools. Even if you use the money to build hospitals, it is still going to crash because the foundation is faulty. Atiku took the money to America. He was indicted. He's a criminal. If it was in Europe or in London, in the United Kingdom, Atiku can never be allowed to contest the election. But in Nigeria, it is normal because it's a foundational problem. He contested. He bragged. Tinubu is a criminal. He was indicted in the United States for drug trafficking. Not only that, with other crimes that he has committed both in Nigeria and outside Nigeria. Today, they found him worthy to become a president. We warned against the election. Nobody listened. They signed petition against me. Today, the same people that signed petition want me to ask their friend to protest. It's impossible. Peter B is also a criminal. While he was the governor of Anambra State, he has money, $50 million in offshore account. When he was asked, he said that he was advised. Is that excuse in the court of law that you were advised? But as a governor, you are not supposed to have offshore account. What I'm telling you is a fact, and that makes him a criminal. For other ones we don't know about. So if P2B was supposed to be in the United Kingdom, do you think 
for those of you living in the United Kingdom. Do you think with the money violating the law and the constitution of the United Kingdom by banking up to $15 million in offshore account, which he said he uses to service his business, do you think he will be coming out to contest election in the United Kingdom? The answer is no. So why is he contesting Nigeria? Because it is a foundational problem. You know, when we say it like this, I say, hey, we, don't, we, don't, we don't like it. We will not like each other, especially those who are standing on the way of the success and the future we are trying to build for our generation. Those of us who come abroad to learn and want to bring back what we have learned. I did not just come to learn how the system works. I have also come to learn how to become a beast to liberate my people. The country where I'm living, they fought like beasts against Russia. And the beast in them is called Sisu spirit. That is what I have possessed and possessed me. I don't know what you have in your own country where you reside, your history. Allow the history to pass through you and use that history to change your country where you come from. I have allowed the Sisu spirit of Finland to possess me and pass through me. Not only that, I have also allowed the system of Finland to possess me. That's why I am fighting tooth and nail. Putting my life online because they did also put their life online fighting against Russia to become what they are today. What I'm doing today is not against any law. You can't kill my people for many years and nobody does anything about it. Today we are killing you back without remorse. If you have the power to kill us first, do it. But if you are in Biafra land as a military, terrorist army and police, you will go down. I am telling you, if you don't go down today, you go down tomorrow. Even though they are not reporting it. We will continue to eliminate all of you to protect our women and children. You have killed them enough. So, we told them that election is, one, is not what they need. What they need is a referendum so that the people who have come to see light will choose their way, how they want to live their, their own life. You cannot be deciding for me. You cannot be telling me, I must live with you when Akpa Bio is a criminal and become a Senate president. And I must come and see Akpa Bio, whom I know very well that even in the worst country in the West, he can never be a counselor. I will look at all these things. I will swallow it. Allows people who do not know what future is all about to decide the future of my own children and my generation. That is impossible. Today, if they stand on our way, they will go down. You don't know what is coming. As you are looking at me, I have seen comments on social media that you are a heartless man. That is an understatement. I have no heart. And that is exactly what Nigeria needs. And you are going to see more of me. When Mazen Nandekano was captured, I told you people that a time will come when you are going to know who Simon Ekpa is. We have not even gotten there. Wait, after the declaration. After December 2nd, you will see madness in the highest order. I welcome every one of you. I thank you, dear friends, for believing in me and following my instruction. And today you see I have saved your lives. Many lives have been saved, even though they will still come from the backyard to kill you. But of course, not all of you will die. We will defend you as many as we can. The remaining people that make it alive will enjoy Biafra and enjoy freedom. Freedom must come. I welcome all of you. Immediately take over from here. I will take questions. Thank you, Thank you. the Prime Minister of the Biafran people. You've said it all. And here now, we would bring up Biafrans to ask some questions. To clear their doubts and before then Mazi success over to you my second co-host 
Okay, thank you, uh, Mazisa, and good evening. Good evening, Prime Minister, and good evening, fellow Biafra, uh, wherever you are spacing from across the globe. Uh, today is today is the second day of August, which marks the end of this very um, uh, sit at home that has exposed Nigeria to it is core. And uh, I want to congratulate their friends for making it. And let me say state that uh, we started the sit at home in ITOB on 23rd of September in the year 2016. And what gave birth to IPOB uh, sitting at home was the killings of the Afrans whenever they go out to protest for the release of our leader, Maznam Dekano, during his first incarceration in Abuja. I think I'm coming out clear. Yes, you are coming out so, clear. So, the then, the deputy leader, okay, the then, the deputy leader of indigenous people of Biafra, Mazu Chemofo issued a seat at home on the 23rd of September 2016. And it was glorious. And second that followed it was on May 30th, 2017. By then, Oyendo has been released. And it was superb. And from there, we picked up the seat at home. So when we when our prime minister ordered for a seat at home, don't think him unfortunate that's from the moon. And don't blame him, maybe he's uh, strangulating the economy, he's making people suffer. Those who have agitated before him have done it. And there was no blame apportioned to them. So why do you blame our prime minister? I'm talking to the full news and to the Afonjas, because as of their friends, they are not complaining. And yesterday, he, through the spirit of Biafra and Chiko Kabiyama, did not even put sit at home. He lifted the sit at home yesterday just to see, test the spirit of Biafra. And it works very, very excellent. Owere was under complete lockdown. Aba was under complete lockdown. Uh, which other city that followed? Uh, Owere, Aba, Enugu was under complete lockdown. Then Abakalik was under complete lockdown. Anambra, part of Anambra had a partial movement and the city of Onicha was completely locked down. And so also to other parts who have not been observing this. Stores were not open. It is because the spirit has taken over. And I'm telling you, from the day we hosted flag until the day of a, a Finland a convention, the next spirit that came down was yesterday. And I'm proud of my prime minister. I will say, Prime Minister, your work is great and we appreciate it. So please follow Prime Minister. Follow every of his advice, every of his directive. He knows how to deal with these terrorists and is dealing with them and does not have help. And he continues to deal with them until they exist no more. So today we have come to celebrate the end of the four days lockdown and to thank Bia France for making it a success by rejecting Nigeria and all it is entireties. Those who come under the pretext of protest for the betterment of Nigeria, you rejected them. That is one of the fantastic things that you have done. And I say, may God who created Biafra bless you all. Thank you, Prime Minister. I think you should uh, bring um, our uh, Minister of Information back, please. Because, uh, you know, when you're hosting space, network is not always favorable with me. Uh, you can bring in the minister back and make him hope. I'm here already, success. Thank you. Um, Mazi Sani is uh, there and he's also a speaker. I think maybe the, his network is having a challenge. And uh, okay, Sani is back. If uh, the prime minister, sir, you can also ask Sani to be co-host, sir. Thank you, fellow Biafras. You're all welcome. The Prime Minister will take questions and then um, we are not going to waste time. Please, uh, everyone in this space, you can see the subject matter. It is Biafra, freedom or die. Make your questions very engaging. The Prime Minister is always challenged with questions that are indeed very, very strong and solid and challenging. You know, move him to give you that answer 
that you have been waiting for all this while. You know, all those things that have they have been telling you he is, he is. All those things they've been accusing him of, and all those propaganda against the prime minister. Please, today, feel free. The prime minister will not fight you. He will not do you any harm. He will only answer your questions. You know, please just do that today and uh, your life will never remain the same. And as you are coming in into this uh, uh, space, raise up your hands so that I will quickly, you know, give you the microphone. Let's do that. Uh, Max, I mean, you're back. Is there anything you want to say so that we'll begin to get the uh, people in to ask the PM questions? Minister of Communications, are you there? All right, um, my minister is there. And I'm sure. Yeah, bam, bam, bam. Continue, continue, continue. I dare you to back you up. Okay, thank you very much, my uh, guy at the top. Thank you. All right, please, you are not raising your hands. Okay, let me just quickly start with um, uh, Mr. Fax and Data. Mr. Fax and Data, can you please unmute yourself and bring that question that have uh, so much uh, been bothering you? Mr. Fax and Data, you need to unmute yourself and uh, bring up your question, please. It's a fact and data and is not ready. Okay, we are going to give you a uh, Chuku CUM TV. Please unmute yourself and uh, bring your question. Yeah, good evening, everybody. Good evening, Prime Minister Moses Simon. Can you hear me? We can hear you, please. Go ahead. Okay, um, I'm very happy to be here. I'm, I'm a regular, I'm a regular here, and uh, I greet my Prime Minister. I greet uh, Mazi Sonny, I greet uh, Mazi Van Van Vama and every listener here. Well, I have to say that uh, Mazi Simon Epa is really a thinker. This thing that he talked about, this reader, this night, I never thought that he is going to go that far. We all read that reader. And everything he talked about, that always was true. While we were in primary school that time, we were like, I was like, I was thinking that Toto is, is, was a, a very big animal. I don't know, it's a one kind small animal that used to deceive all the whole animal. I was, because that time we were small, and we don't, we don't have a, uh, we don't used to see Toto in my village and all that, you know, until I grew up to become an adult before I see Toto you know. So I was like, is this this animal that they're talking about that have been deceiving all the big, 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 big animal? This thing was, is a very, very, Master Simon, require you are a thinker. So one thing I want, uh, the only thing I want to say is that uh, Asari Dokubo made a, a comment last time how he killed Biafrans during uh, the NSAS protests. My question is this, Mazi, don't you think Asari Dokubo is going to be a threat with his Islamic agenda in Biafra? When we when Biafra is no, it can Thank never you. be a threat. He can never be a threat. We have eliminated all his jihadist fighters in the southeast. Go and ask him question. That's why he's irrelevant. So he just come to use uh, this uh, protest to try to get relevant. We eliminated all his fighters from A to Z. You don't you know when he was bragging and bringing gun on social media? Who did this and do that? He they contracted him. His uh, security is uh, everywhere. He's doing this. Uh, are you hearing them saying? Are you hearing him saying it again? We eliminated all of them. He killed all of them in the bush. Good. So it's not a threat. Thank you, Mazi. Thank you. This is what I just wanted to say. Please keep the fire burning. The dear friends love you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you very much, Yuku. Thank you. Uh, the rest in the room, nobody's raising hand. I'm just going to be picking uh, one after the other. Biafra Liberation Please, update. remove me. Remove me so that other person can. Don't worry. Don't worry. Biafra Liberation update. Uh, please unmute yourself. Please do just finish speak now. I have removed him. I've removed him. Okay. I've removed him now. Biafra Liberation update. I gave you the mic. You don't need to raise your hand anymore. Just take the mic. Unmute yourself. Uh, I don't know if I'm actually coming out today. Speak up, please. I don't know. Can you hear me, please? Uh, please, uh, you go and come back again. Something may be wrong with your speaker. Uh, please, um, we'll give you the mic, uh, bold, bold, please, uh, grab the mic and uh, come up with your question, please. Hello, uh, my question is simple. When are we going to be, make sure that all the zoo 
military ballots in all, all around the Biafra are eliminated. Thank you. It will start from 2nd of December. All right, you're okay. Your question has been answered. Uh, let me call you up again for the last time. If you don't pick up now, we will take you down. Mr. Fat and Data, unmute yourself and come with your question. Mr. Fat and Data, unmute yourself and come with your question. Mr. Fat and Data, okay, he's not ready. I think uh, someone else should take that space. Um, who do we have here? We have uh, Biafra is a must. Biafra is a must. Please unmute yourself. Good evening, Mazi. Pastor Van Van Van. Good evening. Good evening, my Honorable and His Excellency Prime Minister of the Biafra Government in Ezai. I voted for you, so you are my Prime Minister. <laughs> Not self acclaimed Prime Minister, but a real Prime Minister, a real leader, a leader that has shown in all cases that he is capable of leading his people. I respect you, sir. My name is Eliezer. Pastor Van Van Van, good evening. It's me, Eliezer, your boy. Go ahead, please. You have CC. Yeah, 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 yes, yeah, sir. I appreciate every work you people are doing. And I pray for the grace of God to be upon the life of our Prime Minister. He's doing a great exploit. And Elohim, Hashem, will continue to lead and guide him with wisdom and more inspiration and more wisdom to continue in the journey. In the name of Chukoki Kabiyama. I want to just ask our Prime Minister, I'm of a great concern of my region, uh, Cross River. I know that in Bakasi Peninsula, we have our Navy there in Cross River, uh, close to the capital city of Old Cross River State. But I'm talking about the Ogoja part. I don't know if the Biafra Liberation Army is functional because that is my region, that is where I come from. And I, I can also apply to be part of the Liberation Army as the declaration, uh, the get closer. So I just want to know if the Biafra Liberation Army in in the uh, Cross River North, Ogoja Axis, is uh, functioning. We are, we are, we have a command in Ogoja. Are you sure this one? Your voice is sounding like a normal cry. You can carry on. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's very funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you sure? Prime Minister, I'm willing. I'm capable. We have suffered a lot. We have suffered a lot. Where Everybody is come, displaced. When the time come, you will know. Uh, okay, sir. But I, I just w want to ask another question uh, about the Biafra efforts. You know, the zoo terrorists, uh, Janjaweed uh, efforts, we like to come through air, since they know that on the ground, our men are capable of curtailing their excesses. So how prepared are we to, in case they take the war to, to us, like they did in 1967, where they started bombing my, com my community in Ogoja, another part of Biafra land, in case if they try doing that, if we want to take the war also to them, because the best form of attack, uh, the best form of defense is attack. If, so the, if we want the, to, so with all the with all the name, all the the hailing you were hailing, bam, 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 I thought you were following. You have been following this. Uh, this I've been invitation. following. I just no, no. And I've been here, following. You are here worried about. Uh, uh, do you know how many times they have they are bombarding? They are, are you, don't you know that they are bombarding Biafra land as we speak? Don't you know, I know we, are, sir. we are also resi resisting the air bombardment already? Sir, I know. I just wanted... Let me finish my question. You understand where I'm going no, to? No, your question, your question started very wrongly. No, because okay, I'm sorry. Worried, I'm sorry, but let me finish it. That we have actually proven that we are defeating and repelling them from the air. Sir, they I know we are defeating them, but... Tukano, I... Listen, listen. They have used Tukano on us to repel them. They have used the, no, the, the uh, newly acquired... Uh, fighter jet we have repelled them in fact we even shot one down are you aware of that so i'm aware of all this i'm aware but that i want one, to add that one fly and they went to uh, port Harcourt to crash i know we i'm aware it. of everything so, so i'm aware I'm of everything you, sir what i'm telling you now if you are aware of this why are you then worried about uh, no 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 what Gugujan what i'm asking i'm talking about we too taking it to them we we have to have fighter there to bomb did you know, did you to know, bomb Asso Rock. Did you know? Did you know? See that we are taking the war already. You can't take war to them without a declaration. 
Okay, sir. That kind of work. So, and that need a lot of finances and all that. So everything borders on finance. And okay, we, sir. We, did, we dictate how to fight. It is not about your opinion. It is not about your suggestion. It is not about how eager you want us to attack them. We, we dictate how to fight Nigeria. And this war is going to be fought in our own way. Okay, That's sir. But they, they, can, they, can never, they can never make us change. They can never bend us. Okay, sir. Thank you for your answer. But you. the reason why I asked this question is because in the 1967 to 1970 war, I watched that. To 1967 until whatever Kudikidi, we don't. We are not interested in whatever happened in 1967. Talk about the present. Thank you. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much for your answer. I appreciate, sir. God bless you.